Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the power of ten nine in chapter thirty two. Chapter thirty two is about light reflection refraction. Now we look at this system. When a beam of light and it travels in the incident wave in the water, and the depth of water h is given, and because in the water, so the incident angle we don't know. Theta one, and the n one is given is as one point three three. It from water, right? Now, then it try to travels into the air because another surface is air, and we know n two is one point zero. But it it says the light does not exist in the water. What does that mean? That means the light travels just in this direction. This is internal reflection, right? So theta two is a ninety degree. So that the light cannot exist in the water this way, and this is just called internal refraction. So theta one is called a critical angle, right? Now ask you, we need to find the distance relative to the spot directly above it. That is r. That is what we want to know. So how can we know it? We look at this triangle. You see, h is given. Theta one. If we know theta one, we can know the r, right? Because r equal to h tangent theta one. So theta one is incident angle. So we can the critical angle. So we write down Snell equation. In this equation, you can know theta one. Uh, the theta one not know, but n one is given. Theta one unknown. N two is given. Theta two is given. So we convert this equation. We can get function for theta one. Input as all the quantity. Get answer zero. Now we input theta one inside. Now it become given, right? And h is given. So h tangent theta one. We get answer zero. Thank you.